What's going on, Pokemon my Masters? Ron Chase here back today with some more Pokemon Omega Group, and I'll start with live Wi Fi battles today up against Owen, aka Alexam428, over on the old Twitter. I'll leave the link to his Twitter down in the description below. And we're back in the OU tier once again, and we're using the same OU team from the past few battles. We have Breloom, Garchomp, Weavile, Mega Altaria, Talonflame, and Mew. It's a pretty decent team. I'm rather fond of this team, and we're using this team for the past few battles. It should be the last battle with this team, however. Um, now, uh, I think I already said that. Didn't I just say this? Um, I'll leave a link to Owen's Twitter down in the description below. He's a really cool guy, and my dogs are running around now. So, uh, OU team, I just showed it off. And question of the day for today, what is your favorite... Let's say, what is your favorite dual typing Pokemon? I know it's just a pretty random question, but what is your favorite dual typing Pokemon? Um, just, like, in general. I, that's, that's way too general, actually. Okay, let's not do that. What is your favorite dual typing Pokemon that involves flying? How about that? There's a lot of flying types out there. So let me know what your favorite dual typing Pokemon that is, is that involves flying. I have quite a few. They're going to be on screen right now. Um, I just, Charizard is one to name off the top of my head. Uh, what's another one? Aerodactyl is pretty darn cool. Articuno, the three birds are really awesome. There's just, there's so many. So they're going to be on screen right now. Let me know in the comment section down below where your favorite ones are. Let's go over here to the battle box. Let's use party Pokemon. And let's do this. Good luck, have fun, Owen. And let's have some no hacks at all. No hacks. Let's have some no hacks. Yep, let's have some no hacks. So he's bringing a pretty OU team by the looks of it. He has a Hoop on down, a Scizor, Thunderous, Incarnate, Manaphy, Landorus, T, and a Lydas. My dogs are just barking with the neighbor's dogs right now and just going crazy. So... Uh, by the looks of things, hmm. Breloom kind of wall. Breloom does wall the Scizor and the Landorus T. So Breloom's going to be good for that. But he has everything else on the team beats Landorus. Or not beats Landorus, but beats uh, Breloom. Talonflame wins, basically, <laughs> if I can get rid of the Thunderous or get rid of the Altar. Not the Altar. Oh my gosh, the Manaphy. Um, Mew plays a pretty big role in this match. He doesn't really have anything to heal about unless... Does Lydas get healable? I'm not sure if Lydas gets healable. And these dogs are going crazy right now. Okay. I think Weavile is also really, really good in this matchup. I think I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Altaria. I feel like Altaria is a really good lead because we have the Hyper Voice. And Hyper Voice is just really, really nice against this team. I wish I had a Flamethrower because Scizor. But I think he's going to lead either Landorus. Yeah, I'm going to lead Altaria. Uh, Mega Altaria is really not going to be all too vital in this matchup, mainly for the fact that we're special. If we're a D-Dancing set, we can basically sweep his team as soon as we get rid of the Scizor. But we're not a D-Dancing set, we're just bulky set, so uh, Altaria is going to be decent in this battle. It's not going to be the greatest, but it is going to be decent, so we'll see how Altaria does. We'll see how Altaria, Altaria does. Um, if he, he does lead off with a Landorus, it looks like. Yeah, that is a Landorus. He's not playing any name tricks where he leads off with a Thunderous and his name Landorus. And I'm just so confused doing couch for the wrong Pokemon and stuff. So he's probably just going to U-turn right now. He doesn't really have a reason not to U-turn. Um, I think I'm just going to Mega and Hyper Voice. I don't want to swap out. Yeah, I don't want to swap out for the fact that uh, he's going to get Switch Initiative with whichever move he decides to go for. So we're just going to go for this Hyper Voice. I kind of wish I let off with uh, Breloom and got a Spore off because I could Spore anything on his team, really. Oh, he's actually just going to set up Stealth Rocks. Wow. Okay, so the rocks are up on our side. We can always just defog them away with Mew. Here's a Hyper Voice. How much is this Hyper Voice going to do? Uh, that's going to do just under half, unfortunately, which is fine by me because that's a lot of nice damage right there. That is a lot of nice damage. I think I'm just going to go with the Hyper Voice. Uh, he's probably going to U-turn out into something. I could go Garchomp right now also, but then he's going to see that I'm not Rocky Helmet, which I don't really want him to see just yet. I could go Town Nell Rock Shop. I'm not going Town Flame. Definitely not going to happen. We're just going to stay in and Hyper Voice again. We're just going to stay in and Hyper Voice again. Um, I, just, I would go for the Flamethrower right now if I had it, but I don't have it, so um, that's just whatever. I wish I had Flamethrower because I, I could hit the Scizor right now, but Hyper Voice should still do a bit, unless he is the bulky uh, Scizor, which he probably is, judging by the looks of his team. He doesn't really have any bulky mons, so I feel like Scizor is going to be his pivot. Scissor is a very nice pivot. That's why I feel like it's going to be his pivot. So uh, we'll see if that's the case right now. We'll see if that's the case right now. He may go for the knockoff predicting a switch if he does go out to the Scissor. He's probably debating on whether he wants to go out to the Scissor or, or not predicting a uh, me going for the Fire Blast and or Flamethrower. So he may go out to the Manaphy. Uh, if he does that, that is amazing for us because I just went for the Hyper Waste. So that'd be absolutely amazing for us if that does happen. I do wish I had the Fire type move so bad because I would have went for it. But oh well, it's fine. It is fine. So he's gonna go. Yeah, he's actually gonna go to the Manaphy. Okay, that is nice. That is really, really nice. We did just go for the Hyper Voice. Uh, let's see how much this does. Should do a decent chunk. That is gonna do a decent chunk. That does look like a two-hit KO, which is really, really nice right now. Okay, 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, right now we could go ahead and swap out into Mew. I'm gonna swap it to Mew. I'm gonna try taking this chance to go for the defog. Uh, now seems like a good a chance as any to go for the defog. He may predict that. He doesn't because he's definitely faster than us. He's base 100, we're base 80. So he's going for the Ice Beam, most likely, unless he tail glows, which I doubt he would uh, this early on. Uh, yeah, he does just go for the Ice Beam, so that's nice. We're gonna get hurt by the Ice Beam, but shouldn't do too much. Does it do too much, which is fantastic. Uh, we can go for the Defog, or we can go for the will o -Wisp. He doesn't have anything immune to the will o -Wisp, so I really do want to go for the will o -Wisp right now. I think I will go for the will o -Wisp, just because it's too good not to go for. I'm gonna will o -Wisp. The will o -Wisp is just too, too... I don't want to miss up this opportunity to go for the will o -Wisp because if he goes out to the scissor, which is what I'm expecting, we're gonna get a burn off. If he decides to tail glow, we're gonna get some nice residual damage, and we can just tail glow next turn when he tries to scald. Uh, let me run a calc right now, actually. Uh, we should be able to live a plus three scald because we are a bit specially defensive, so... We should be able to live a Scald. He's gonna withdraw. Please go out to the Scizor. Please. Octavius, that looks like the Scizor to me. The, that is the Scizor. We're gonna get this Willow off, and we connect with the Willow. That is a burn, Octavius. That is amazing. All right. That was really nice. That was a big, big play right there. That was a vital, vital play. Okay. So this thing's burned now. This thing's burned now. He's probably a Mega Scizor, because he doesn't have any other... Well, it could be Mega Altaria, but I doubt it. Uh, I doubt it. So if he goes for... If he's Max Attack... If he's adamant, and if he goes for a U-turn, let's just say it's gonna do it's still oh that's without the burn. Okay, with the burn, let's see, burn. It's gonna do basically nothing. We pretty much eat that up for breakfast. Uh let me just make sure our stats. No, let's go summary. Uh, let's go back to Mew. Summary, we have 132 defense actually. Um I think we're bold. Yeah, we're bold. Alright, uh 132. Yeah, that's gonna do basically nothing. We will eat this hit up, and we can just go for a defog right now. Um, if he sets up on me, I do have the Breloom, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Defog. He doesn't really have much that wants to come in on this Mew, so I feel like Defog is the best play uh, to get rid of these hazards, because I do feel like he's just gonna go for U-Turn. He actually withdraws, um, going out into the Landorus right now as we go for the Defog, so uh, that just happened. He's probably gonna try setting up Roxanne. He does have leftovers, we saw that already. Um, I'm not sure how much this Landorus T can do. He might be, he's, he's left there, he's probably defensive. He's probably defensive. He has to be defensive. He had de he's definitely defensive. He has to be. He has to be. There's no way. He has to be defensive. Okay, I think I want to go for the knockoff right now. I think I want to go for the knockoff. Um, knockoff isn't really going to do anything. It's going to do like 10% max. Uh, so I think I'm just going to knock off because we can get rid of his item. His earthquake. Actually, I should probably just Willow if he's going to get the rocks up. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for the Willow. Uh, we outspeed the Landorus, we get the Willow off, now we burn this Landorus, and I don't know what's happening right now, he's probably gonna knock off. Uh, he's probably gonna knock off. No, he's just gonna U-turn, this is gonna be like 15% because he's burned and defensive. Uh, yeah, that does like nothing. That does basically nothing, this is just, this is a burn fest right now, this is a burn fest if I've ever seen one. Uh, he might go back out to the Manaphy. He may go back out to the Manaphy, he goes out to that thing, that's not the Manaphy. Oh, uh, that's the Hoop Unbound! That's the Hoop Unbound, okay. Um, Hoop Unbound is here. Hoopa Unbound is here, and this is a threat. Why is Hoopa Unbound not on this calc? Why is there no Hoopa Unbound on this calc? Oh, come on. Why is there no Hoopa Unbound? Okay. <sighs> this thing's. Uh, we can actually go for a knockoff if we outspeed this thing, which I doubt. What's our speed stat? We do have a bit of speed investment. We hit 140. We hit 140 speed, and I don't think Hoopa Unbound is too fast. I don't think Hoop Unbound is too fast. Why is there no Hoop Unbound on this damage calc? We do have a chance to take it out. Uh, if we can outspeed, I want to see how much Hoopa's speed is. Hoopa Unbound. It's base 80 speed. Okay, it's base 80. Base 80. Uh, if he's timid, he hits 145. We're at 140. We will not outspeed this thing. Okay. Uh, we're not going to outspeed this thing if he's max speed. So I'm going to swap out. I'm going to swap out. I do want to stay in and go for the knockoff, but I just can't. Actually, I think I calc it with the Psychic Ghost typing. Yeah, that was actually Psychic Ghost typing, not even Psychic Dark. So that was four times. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not staying in. Uh, we're going to go out into Altaria, it looks like. Uh, looks like we're going to go out to Altaria. Um, yeah. All right, we're going to go out to Altaria right now. Uh, he's probably going to go for a Dark type move. Altaria does resist it. We're going to take rocks. No, we're not going to take rocks damage because he U-turned with Landis. He didn't, de he didn't set up stealth rocks. Uh, so he's going to Gunk Shot predicting the Altaria. That is a nice prediction. Uh, unfortunately, he did land it. And it's going to do a lot of damage, and does he snag the poison? Does he snag that poison? He does not snag that poison. Alright. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. 
Altaria, like I said, it's gonna be decent this matchup, but I'm I'm fine sacking it right now. So I'm gonna go with the hyper voice. I'm gonna go with the hyper voice. He's gonna go for the hidden power ice. It's most likely hidden power ice. Uh, most likely. Oh uh, yeah, that looks like hidden power ice. So down it goes Altaria. But now we can go out to Guard Chomp and we can Dragon Claw or we can go Weavile. Weavile guarantees a kill. Garchomp Dragon Claw does not guarantee a kill, but it's most likely going to be a kill. Oh, let's see. If he's defensive laner is T, which we almost confirmed. We almost confirmed that. How much can Weavile do? Life Orb Weavile with an Ice Shard. Barely does over half. Wow, but we lost speed him and we can just Ice Gold Crash anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go Weavile. We're going to go out to Weavile right now. We're gonna go out to Weavile, and that basically that gives him the opportunity to go out into his uh, gives uh, gives him the opportunity to go out to his mana feet. But we're gonna knock off. Uh, we need to keep this thing around. This Weavile is huge for this match. He's actually gonna withdraw. Is he gonna go straight out to the? No, he's gonna go into Octavius. Okay, like expected. All right, so we're gonna get a knock off off on this thing. Uh, it's gonna do some decent damage, and he's burned. So. Yeah, it does some decent damage. I'm really happy with that damage. And he's burned, so he's not really going to be able to do too much. He's probably just going to go for the U-turn right now. But, uh, let's see. I don't think we should stay in, because he's definitely Mega Scizor. There's no way he's not a Mega Scizor. Oh, uh, yeah, Ice Shard does not do anything. Uh, we could just knock off again if I really think he's going to do that. But if he goes for the Bullet Punch, uh, that might be able to knock us out. A Bullet Punch, if he is... It actually won't knock us out because of the burn. Uh, let's see status let's say burned yeah it's gonna do a lot though so i don't want to stay in i don't want to stay in because it's gonna be doing too much for comfort so i think i'm gonna go to talon flame uh, i think i'm gonna go to talon flame we saw you turn and stealth rocks on the laners he may not carry he may not carry the stone edge he may not carry the stone edge i think he's gonna u-turn so i should probably go out to talon flame but if he doesn't u-turn he doesn't U-turn. I'm trying to think what my best. I'm gonna go with Talonflame. I think he may roost. I think he may go for the roost right now. So I'm gonna go with Talonflame. Even if he U-turns, BPs, uh, whatever roost, it's gonna be fine if he goes to Talonflame. Uh, if he U-turns, that's gonna be kind of gonna sink because then he can just go Landorus. But uh, we're gonna see what he does right now. Uh, we're gonna see what he does. Talonflame can clean up the uh, Hoopa Unbound from where it's at because Hoopa Unbound has basically no defense at all. So uh, he's gonna go for the roost. That is nice. We're gonna go for the bulk up right now. He can go for a knockoff. All he wants, we're gonna eat up a knockoff just fine. So we're gonna go for a bulk up right now. We're gonna go for a bulk up right now. Get up our defenses. Um, bulk up. Yes, we're gonna bulk up. I could willow right now, but I think he may just U-turn out. Uh, I'm kind of doubting whether he carries U-turn or not because he didn't go for it. He's just gonna straight up withdraw. Yeah, I don't think he carries U-turn. But we're gonna bulk up. He's probably gonna get to Landorus. Does go out to the Landorus. Okay, so our Tom Flame's at plus one defense. Uh, we know this thing is defensive. We know this thing is defensive. He's at plus one defense. Right, we're at plus one defense, not him. We are at plus one defense and neutral attack. Uh, let's just put plus one, plus one. Uh, Stone Edge actually still will take us out. He's burned though, he's burned. I forgot he was already burned. I forgot he was already burned. If we had Storage Dance, we would have won just there. We would have won right there, okay. Um, I think I go for the, because Brave Bird's really gonna do nothing. Um, I don't know. Raver's gonna do basically nothing anyway. So I think what I need to do is probably gonna U-turn. Um, I think what I need to do is just Brave Bird. I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird. I'm just gonna Brave Bird because I do expect him to U-turn out into the Thunderous Incarnate. So I'm just gonna Brave Bird, get some damage on this thing because once the Thunderous comes in, I am going to swap out. Uh, that does a lot because we get a crit, of course. That's a neutral, uh, neutral crit. He's actually gonna go with the Stone Edge and he's gonna land the Stone Edge. That's gonna do around 60%. Yeah, it's gonna do basically around 60-ish percentage. Uh, so that kind of stinks, but yeah, that stinks. But we can just knock him out with the Brave Bird right now. We can definitely just knock him out with the Brave Bird, so it's fine. Oh, uh, that crit did, I guess, actually didn't really matter because I still think two Brave Birds would have been enough to take out this Landorus. So I don't think uh, the Brave Bird crit mattered right there. I don't think the Brave Bird crit mattered. So we're just gonna Brave Bird again. Why not? Get rid of this Landorus. Get rid of the Landorus right there. So the Landorus is gone. We don't need to worry about the Landorus anymore. The main threats right now is the Manaphy and the Thunderous. Those are the main threats right now. Oh, those are the main threats. Let's see. How do we deal with them? How do we deal with them? To deal with Manaphy, we basically need to Brave Bird him. That's going to be, honestly, the only good way. Knock off and then Brave Bird's probably going to be the way to deal with Manaphy. So if he goes Manaphy right now, I'm just going to stay in. 
Uh, Weavile's gonna win this match for us. I can already see that. Weavile's gonna win this match for us. Oh, let's see what else, what else. We need Breloom. Breloom can wall the Scizor. We either need to keep Breloom or Talonflame. I think I'd rather keep Breloom. Because I feel like Breloom would do better against the Scizor because Leaf Seed and Willow, and then we can Drain Punch, and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So I think that's gonna be better to keep Breloom around rather than keep Talonflame around. But let's see what he goes down into right now. Probably gonna go to the Thunderous, which is what I'm expecting. Kind of surprised he didn't just U-turn out into the Thunderous and save his Landorus, but oh well, I'm fine with it. Went for the Stone Edge. He got off a lot of damage, so I guess it's whatever. He's gonna go to the Blunderous, which is the Thunderous. Okay. All right, all right. He's gonna go for a T-Bolt, most likely. Oh, he can't really play around with this threat, so I can go Garchomp. But the thing is, Garchomp kind of cleans up. It actually does kind of clean up because we're Scarf Garchomp. So I think what I'm gonna do is just, oh, I can't, I don't really need Mew. I don't really need Mew, but I, if I go Mew, I'm basically sacking Mew, but I don't really need Mew. So I'm just gonna swap out to Mew. I don't wanna take the risk of him going for an HP Ice and knocking out Garchomp, though I really doubt he would because he doesn't really wanna play around with a threat like Talonflame. Uh, nobody really wants to play around with a threat like Talonflame, but uh, yeah, he does just go for a T-Ball. I could have gone out to Garchomp, but oh well. Uh, and that's definitely Life Orb. Yup, he is Life Orb, okay. And Mew is gonna go down here. We can't really do much about that, but he's taking a bunch of Life Orb damage and that's basically gonna leave him to the point where Garchomp can come in and clean up. Uh, clean up this Thunderous at least. Um, I'm gonna go for a knockoff just in case. Just in case, he's just gonna go for t -ball. Yep, that's gonna knock us out. And let's see, Thunderous. And Carney's probably the prankster attacker. We know he's prankster, but he's probably the prankster attacker. So he lost 20%. Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw actually won't even knock him out right now. Wow, how is Dragon Claw not gonna knock this thing out? That stinks, okay. <sighs> All right, should've just stayed in and Brave Birded. Should have just stayed in and went for the Brave Bird now. I'm instantly regretting that decision. Um, I'm regretting that decision mainly. Actually, I could just go out to Garchomp and Outrage. I can't really do that though because Outrage will take him out right now, but an Outrage will not take out the Scizor. But Scizor is burned. I'm not really afraid of Scizor because it's burned. How much is Garchomp going to do to a Manaphy? And how much can a Manaphy do to a Garchomp? Uh, Ice Beam is gonna just knock us out, all right. Um, our Rage is gonna do, it's gonna do a little bit over half. I think he's definitely gonna be in a Rage to survive, but then, but then if that happens, we can go Town Flame and just Brave Bird. But I wanna keep Garchomp around. I wanna keep, uh, it doesn't even matter if that, yeah, if that, if that Latias is Scarfed, he's playing it really, really well. So I can't do much if the Latias is Scarfed. I think what I need to do I doubt the Latias is Scarf, but it may be Scarf, which is the reason why I'm kind of debating on what to do right now. Because if it's Scarf, it kind of just destroys this team. It really does. So, I'm gonna go Garchomp. I'm gonna go Garchomp. Um, I'm gonna go Garchomp and Outrage. Uh, that's what I need to do. I need to go Garchomp and I need to Outrage. I could Dragon Claw expecting the switch, but I don't really want to do that. Because he's probably thinking, oh, I cannot speed, so he's gonna stay in. He may think I'm Scarf, he may predict me to be Scarf. If he does that, oh well. Can't really do much about that. But uh, we're gonna take out this Thunderous if he stays in. If he goes Scizor, we're gonna take out Scizor with, um, actually, Outrage plus the burn damages might not. He's gonna swap, that's actually fine by me. He may be going out into the, he's gonna go Manaphy, that is amazing. He's not taking two Outrage, I kinda wish I went for the Dragon Claw, but he's not taking two Outrage, there's no way. No way this Manaphy's taking two Outrages. Yeah, like I thought, he would take that one. Okay, so we definitely got max damage right there because it is 55 to 65, and that's with minimal HP investment. So we definitely just got max damage, and this next Outrage is gonna knock this thing out most likely. He does decide to just stay in. It's gonna knock out the Manaphy. That's fine by me. Down goes the biggest threat that's left, really. Uh, that Thunderous is gonna go down to an Outrage, so that's fine. He may also go down to an Ice Shard. He probably will go down to an Ice Shard. Uh, we're gonna get confused that turn, which kind of it's kind of stinks, kind of does it because he's probably just gonna go Scizor anyway. Uh, so it's whatever. Uh, he may go Lydas right now if it's Scarfed. He's not gonna go Lydas. It's probably not Scarfed, but he goes up to this thing. I'm gonna swap out to Breloom. I'm gonna swap out to Breloom. We only need Breloom for this thing. So I'm gonna go Breloom. I'm gonna take this opportunity to get my Toxic Orb. Uh, I'm not gonna go to Talonflame because I just want to keep Talonflame around for a last ditch Brave Bird on something. I want to keep him around for a last ditch Brave Bird on something. Uh, I'm gonna calculate right now how much does a Brave Bird do to a Hoopa. From a bulk up Talonflame, how, how much do we do to a Hoopa? A uh, bulk up Talonflame, Brave Bird actually does just over half. That's nothing. I thought it would be doing a lot more. I thought it would be doing way more than just over half. Wow. Wow, I thought we'd be doing so much more. That actually stinks a lot. 
That actually really sinks because uh, now Town of Flames kind of not as appealing as it was before, but oh well. So we're gonna go out to Bray Loom. Here's Bray Loom. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna withdraw Octavius, probably predicting us whatevs. Whatevs, whatevs. He's probably uh, HP ice anyway. He's gonna get to Ryan Air, which is this thing, and I think I'm just gonna spore him. I'm just gonna spore him right now. We should be able to take one Psy Shock, and then I should spore. Yeah, I'm gonna spore him. I'm gonna go for the spore right now. I'm gonna go for the spore because if he is scarfed. Uh, we're gonna find out right now. If he's life orb, we're also gonna find out right now. He's actually just gonna drop a Draco. I don't think we can take a Draco uh, if he's life orb. If he's life orb, I don't think we can take a Draco, but then he's just gonna get to minus two special attacks. So, uh, yeah, he gets a crit. I'm actually gonna calc right now. I wanna see if we see the life orb. Uh, do we see the life orb? Do we see the life orb? Please, please. Yes, he's life orb. All right, that is nice. Whoa, that just lifted a huge burden off my shoulders. I can just go out into Garchomp and we can fire off a Dragon Claw that he's life orb. Um, I guess it, that didn't really matter in the long run because he is just life orb, but um, I just want to calc to see how much it would would have done. Uh, Garchomp should be able to take this thing out. I'm just going to run uh, one final calc. Dragon Claw does level 50. Uh, Dragon Claw does take him out after the life orb damage guaranteed. So we're just going to Dragon Claw. We're just going to Dragon Claw. And let's see. Breloom. Our set. We were max HP basically. Draco actually still would have taken us out. Okay, okay, that's fine. So Draco still would have taken us out. Uh, even if he stays in right now with this light ass, he's at minus two special attacks. So he's not going to be doing much to us at all. He's just going to stay in. Uh, if he does live, I, I meant. And it, he does not live that. Okay, so down he goes. He's not running HP. That's good. So down goes the Latios. And if he goes Thunderous right now, Thunderous is dead. If he goes Hoopa right now, I believe Hoopa's dead, but I'm not quite sure. He's going to go Scizor. Um, I don't know what Scizor can really do. Um, I'm gonna go Talonflame. I'm gonna go Talonflame. I'm just gonna, I don't think he carries the U-turn anyway, so I'm just gonna go Talonflame. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do much of the Scissor anyways with Garchomp, and I don't want to let him just set up his Swords Dances for free. Uh, anyways, I don't think he's gonna be able to take a Dragon Claw. He actually he takes 20% from a Dragon Claw with no HP investment, so he's definitely gonna be able to take two Dragon Claws and the burn damage, so if he wanted, he could probably be able to set up and just win um, with the Scissor right now if he goes for the Swords Dances. The only hope is if I stay in. His only hope is if I stay in with Garchomp and he sets up Swords Dances all over me and then wins. That's really, that's the only thing I can see happening right now. Um, that's the only thing I can see happening. He's burned though, so I, I don't, I don't even see that happening really since he's burned. I don't even see that happening because yeah, he's not going to be able to do much to me at all. U-turn's going to do uh, around 25-ish percent max. Uh, that's max damage if he's burned. Well, since he's burned, it's going to do 50, it's going to do 25% max is 50% it's halved. All that good stuff. He's gonna. Uh, we're gonna swap out. We're definitely faster. Okay, so we swap out. Uh, here is Talonflame, and he's gonna go for the. He's gonna also swap. He's gonna also swap. He's just making predictions all over the place with that thing. So he's gonna go into the Blunderous, which is fine by me. Uh, that's basically basically going to put him in range of a. It's basically gonna put him in range of a Dragon Claw, as I go for this Brave Bird right here. I don't really find a reason to save this thing, so I'm just gonna Brave Bird. Just gonna braver this thing. We have Weavile and Garchomp, which should which should win us this match. Weavile and Garchomp should win us this match. He's just gonna stay in fine by me. I don't want to swap out into. Um, he may predict it. That's why I don't want to swap it to Garchomp because he may predict that. I right, know he's just gonna T-bolt. Um, I felt like he kind of needed to predict the Garchomp because if I swapped into Garchomp right there, I won indefinitely. Like I definitely won if I swapped out to Garchomp right there. But I mean, it's fine by me. Fine by me. And now we can go out into. Uh, Weavile or Garchomp? I'm gonna go... Uh, should I go Garchomp? Because if I go Garchomp right now... If I go Garchomp, we're choice scarfed. How much can we do to a Hoopa? Uh, to a Hoopa, we do Dragon Claw. I actually will not take out the Hoopa. Wow, that's surprising, even after the Life Orb hits. Uh, so I believe we need to go Weavile. I believe we need to go Weavile. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go Weavile. We have to go Weavile right now. So we're gonna go Weavile. Uh, we need to go for the uh, for the Ice Shard right now. I don't even know what I was just about to say. We need to go for the Ice Shard right now because if he swaps out into... Well, if he stays in and goes for the... Uh, if he stays in and goes for the T-Wave, then we're going to lose, basically. So we need to go for the Ice Shard. I only have two Pokemon left, but we basically... We have two of our biggest threats to his team left. So uh, if we Ice Shard and he swaps out to Scissor, we're going to do around 10-ish percent. Then the burn damage is also going to be there. And he actually cannot knock us out with one, as he does stay in, probably going for the T-Wave. He does not knock us out with one bullet punch. So, uh, yeah. He doesn't, knock, he doesn't knock us out with one bullet punch. If he goes Hoopa right now, Hoopa is dead. 
Hoopa is dead if he goes Hoopa right now. Um, if he goes Scizor, which he's gonna go, he does go Scizor. Scizor is burned. Scizor is burned. If he's max HP, max attack, let's just say. Now, this is worst case scenario. And he's burned. A bullet punch does... 60 to 72, there's 117, there's 105 max, we're at 117 HP. I think I need to go for the knockoff. I think that's what I need to go for because, oh, I'm trying to think, do I need to go for the knockoff though? Do I need to go for the knockoff or can I just go out into, I think I can just go out into Garchomp actually. I think I can just go out to Garchomp. Yeah, I'm gonna just go out to Garchomp right now because if he goes for the Swords Dance, which is kind of what he needs to do. Uh, Ice Cream Crash is going to do less than Knockoff would anyway, so Knockoff would only do 30-ish percent max. 35-ish uh, percent. He is going to go for his Swords Dance. Okay, well he's burned. He's burned. He is burned. So, he's going to take Rough Skin Damage. He's burned. Earthquake is going to be doing the most to him. It's going to do around 40-ish percent. We're going to Earthquake. We have to Earthquake right now. We're going to Earthquake. We're going to Earthquake. Earthquake plus Burn should be doing more than he's recovering. So here's our Earthquake. Here is the Earthquake that's going to be doing nothing. It looks like he's defensive. This might actually put us in a bit of trouble. He's at plus four right now. He's at plus four. He's going to take Burn. Actually, this next Earthquake should take him out. This should take him out. This should take him out. Garchomp. Come on, Shark Bait. Shark Bait. Hoo -ha -ha. He's actually just going to go over the Bullet Punch. This Bullet Punch shouldn't even knock us out, even at plus four. Yeah, it ba barely even does half. Rough Skin plus Burn would be enough to take him out anyway. But we're going to Earthquake. Just because why not? And we have this match. It's going to be actually a really, really close match. I did feel comfortable most of the match. Um, I did feel really, really comfortable most of the match. I really hope this isn't muted. Oh, it's not muted. Oh, I got a heart attack right there. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, this Hoopa, actually, let's see if this Hoopa Unbound will take this Earthquake. I'm actually kind of interested. I'm um, actually really, I'm really intrigued. Will he take this Earthquake? Let's see how bulky Hoopa Unbound is. It's probably a minus defense nature anyway. Yeah, he's not taking it. All right, so Garchomp cleans up. Garchomp was definitely MVP of the team for us. So there you go. Good job, Garchomp. And good game, Owen. That was an amazing match. I did feel comfortable most of the match. I felt like I was in control most of the match. Uh, U turn on Scizor definitely would have helped. But that was an amazing match. Thanks so much for the battle. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like rating down below because that thumb needs yo loving. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. But if you don't, I also love you regardless. Hi, everyone. Have a great day. And until next time, have a nice shit.